G'day guys, so we'll be doing a tutorial on web scraping using Python. Um, specifically, we're going to use Beautiful Soup to perform the web scraping and to read the HTML uh, data from a target website. So um, this time, this is my client's target website and this website has all the links um, to a ton of files that need to be downloaded and it would take some time to actually download each file one by one so we will be um, using Python to um, help us in automating the downloading process so let's begin by using Google Colab so no software will be needed to download um, and you guys can follow along with me um, so just type in Google Colab um, you will find um, it's the first link in the Google search um, results so once we open Google Colab I have it open here you can read along it's 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 it says it here like it's a free Jupyter notebook environment that requires no setup and runs entirely in the cloud so you don't need any um, software to install. So let's get started. Uh, we're interested in creating a new Python 3 notebook. So uh, let's wait for it to create the notebook. And um, it's good to first of all change, like rename your file. So I'm just going to say web scraping here. Web scraping. Um, now we're going to open this pane, click on files, and we can see uh, once it loads, so you can see it up here, it's, it's initializing. So it's connected to Python 3 Google Compute Engine backend, um, all the um, we want to create a folder that will contain all of the files that we um, will download later on. So we'll create a folder inside this um, folder content. So let's do that by um, typing in exclamation mark mkdir, so make directory and dollar sign in single quotation marks content and let's create a folder called documents. Run the cell, you can run it by clicking the run, um, run cell or um, control enter and it should make a new folder inside the content folder called documents so now we're gonna um, import the libraries that we will be using so we'll be using beautiful soup as I mentioned before so from uh, bs4 import beautiful soup so it's capital B capital S we're gonna also import URL lib dot request uh, so that we can actually get the page. Import OS, we'll be later using that to save our files. Um, you can run that. Uh, we'll be initializing a variable called URL, um, and that will contain our target URL. Um, it could be any site that you want that contains the target files that you want to download. Mine is this one, so I'm going to um, select it, control copy, and then paste it in here. I'm going to run that one. Create another variable called page, um, which is the requested page using URL uh, library request. So request.url open, and we're going to parse in the URL variable. Um, if you want to know what this um, will return, so we can just print page, it will return an object. So let's wait for it to load. It will return a HTTP response object at a certain memory location there. So we can't read this as a human being. So we'll be using the beautiful soup module. Um, we're going to call it soup, uh, which is equal to uh, beautiful soup, beautiful soup. Uh, and then we're going to pass in the page. So pass in the page. And then we're going to um, use the uh, parameter of HTML parser. So basically, this will 
read the response and spit out the HTML for us. So print soup and we can see all the HTML. So we are interested in all these blue ones. So the blue links that contain the folders. So basically like this one. So the folder containing um, with a file like .pdfs, .pdfs and yeah. So if we scroll to the top, we can see that these are also links, but they are not files. So we're not actually interested in this. So this is also a link, um, uh, but we're not interested in the links um, other than the document links, which should end in either .pdfs or .docs. So, um, so let's let's clean this up. So we don't want to look at all the HTML. We just want to look at the um, the the links. So uh, we can do that by um, uh, creating a for loop. So for all the links, so for oh, sorry, not for all the links, for link in. So it's gonna um, run a for loop in the soup and uh, find all. So we're gonna find all the a tags um, and uh, we're gonna look at all the links. So let's call it the link and this link is get the href. So we're gonna get the href and um, so let's call it name and we will get the string. So that's basically another attribute, which is the string. Um, and you can print, let's, let's print the link and see what happens and also print the name underneath it. So we can see the links. So we basically cleaned it out and just preserved the links. Um, but you can see the links, there are still links that we are not interested in. So we are only interested in links that have endings of PDF or dot docs. So here we have doc. So let's let's filter that out. So how we how are we gonna do that? So let's use another for loop. So for link in soup dot find all a tags. Um, oh, you know what? We can just copy it from here. So let's just copy this part here and then paste this paste it in here. Um, and we're gonna say if the link. So basically, if the link that is currently um, in the loop, we're gonna look at the last four characters. So basically, one, two, three, four. So the last four characters all the way to the end, this is called slicing. We're gonna slice the link, the string. And if that equals to a dot doc or the link, the last four um, characters equals to dot PDF, then we're going to do something else. We're going to extract it. We're going to do. Um, we're going to. We're going to save it. So we're not. This is basically filtering out all the other links that don't have the dot doc or dot pdf. So we can print that out if you want to see that. So print link, and there we have it. So we have all the links that contains just the PDFs and docs. So this is much cleaner. And now we're interested in saving it. So let's edit this code. So what happens if it's a dot doc? So if the link is a dot doc, so slicing it in four characters, uh, the last four characters is a dot doc, then um, we will actually save it as a dot doc. So um, we'll we'll say we'll call the file extension 
equals so we create a new variable called file extension and then just put in dot doc inside um, that and if the name equals to is sorry if name is none so if you remember up here we've created a variable called name um, so some of the links don't actually have um, strings title string so if they don't have it um, then the name will be none so if if it's none let's just say that let's create a title for the file so it's string um, no, let's say title is none whoops Sorry, title is none, and then we'll append the file extension at the end. And else, if it's not none, then title equals name with the file extension. Next, we will be saving file. So We'll be using a try and accept block. So if the file already exists, we don't want to do anything with it. Okay. If it doesn't exist, we'll create another file. So let's open. So get current working directory um, plus documents plus title, and we're just reading it as file exists and if it exists print print title exists and file exists we're going to close it we don't want to do anything with it except so what happens if it's not found so we will throw in an error why not actually throw in an error we'll catch an error file not found error um, print download started and title call it doc file document file equals we're gonna open get current working directory Plus documents plus title. This time we're gonna do um, write binary dot file dot write. Once we open it or create it, we're gonna write the URL there lib dot request dot URL open and then the link dot read okay doc file dot close and let's print the success success and that's basically it that is for the document so the the dot doc extension so what happens if it's the dot pdf so basically it's the same so we can just copy and paste this whole block here so control copy and underneath that make sure it's um, make sure it's here so yep because um, Python is really strict about indentations and white spaces and we will change this to .pdf so .pdf. So basically, that's it. Um, yeah, and we can run this if you want. So let's run it, and it has downloaded. So basically, it's working, guys. And we can check by looking at into the documents folder. And yes, it is downloading, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so basically, now. Once we wait for all the files to download, 
um, we want to actually zip it into one single folder. Sorry, zip it into one single file. So um, let me just stop this and assume that assume that I have downloaded all the files into this document. Um, so let's say content document. Um, I've downloaded all into the documents. Now I am. I want to make a zip file. So let's let's create a zip file um, inside uh, the content folder. So content. Call it a uh, download. Download. Dot zip, and it should contain the content content and download from all the content from the downloads folder. Download, oh my time is messy. All right, and let's run that. Oh, sorry, not downloads, documents. <laughs> there we go, let's run that. Um, Okay, so it's adding all the files into the zip file, zip file, and let's check in the content folder. Yep, we have the zip. So basically, you can download that. Right click, and a download button should appear. So that's all for today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Like the video if you do, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to um, get updated with all the other tutorials for Python.